Alright, so, last week I had you guys vote on which anime movie you wanted me to review, and the winner by one, because the other ones got one, but this one got two votes, was the Blackjack movie. Now, I am a huge fan of Tezuka's work, and Blackjack is one of my favorite among that work. Um, so, I haven't seen much of the TV series, because it's really hard to find, and I haven't watched this yet, but I watched it. And it's 2 o'clock in the morning, but who cares, we'll do a review right now anyway, right? So. Basic premise of this movie is you've got Blackjack, our infamous and unlicensed doctor, the surgeon of awesomeness. Um, and he ends up coming across an epidemic problem with superhumans. It's a bit weird at first, but after a while, it's kind of understandable. I'm not going to go into the technicality because it's kind of over my head, personally. Um, but the movie itself is actually really good. Um, the way they do it, it's a medical thriller, basically. The genre it would fit under would be a medical thriller. There's not much action to it. It's mostly... Um, it's a medical thriller. There's no more way to put that. Um, all the blackjack mangas are medical thrillers though, so it fits in with the genre of the manga series. The art style is really good. It's uh, 90s-ish, I would guess. Um, every so often it stops animating and does a sort of, um, how would you put this? It's kind of manganized. It's got like still pictures, detailed, de intricately drawn with lots and lots of details and stuff really good stuff that doesn't really fit with the simple animation that the movie has but it kind of works with it at first I was like what and then after a while you get used to it how it does it to emphasize the moment of that scene this is basically when it does it um I, I'm really enjoyed it. Uh, it was definitely better than last week's peculiar movie, OVA. That that was definitely a strange OVA. But in any case, this was definitely better. And I highly recommend it if you like thrillers or medical thrillers of any kind, or if you're a fan even of Tezuka stuff. Because this, this is really good. Um, what I thought was funny is, uh, Pinocchio, uh, Blackjack's little companion, which her origin is explained in the manga volume 1. So, if you're curious about that, then you should go read that if you can. Totally shit. Um, yeah, Pinocchio constantly does puzzles in this movie, and when she finishes one, it's Astro Boy. I thought that was kind of funny, that... She was doing a puzzle and it turned out to be Astro Boy when it was finished. That was kind of funny. And appropriate because, you know, Astro Boy and Blackjack are both done by the same manga cop. So yeah. Um, I gave this a 9 out of 10. I'm not sure why. It could just be because I'm tired. But this is definitely not my favorite, but it is still really good. It's a really good movie. I'm glad that I have it. I'm glad that I even spent $15 on it. I'm glad I got it. It's really good. You should check it out if you're into thrillers, medical thrillers of any sort. You should also check out the manga series. So good. It's kind of hard and a little bit expensive because the manga volumes are like about $15 each. A little cheaper if you find them on Amazon.com on sale, which they are every so often. So yeah, you should totally check out the series as well. But yeah, good movie. Highly recommend it. And I will see you guys next week for another review. Hopefully not at 2 o'clock in the morning.